Hey guys, welcome to another audio commentary done by Diggity. I actually have Rain Man alongside me this time. He is a new commentator for SC2GG, so I wanted to get him a little press. This is going to be a pro league match between Light and Lucifer. It's the opening match uh, in that respective set. KTF being put forth by Lucifer, NBC putting forth Light. And Light really hasn't been playing well lately. He's still, I think, a top class Terran. I would still put him in the upper tier of Terran. He's obviously not flash level, but I still think he's pretty high quality. But Lucifer has just been playing fantastically lately. He's just really been spot on a really top-notch Protoss, and it seems like there's a lot of top-notch rising Protoss these days. I don't think he's Jengbi level, but I definitely think he uh, will kind of rise to the throne. I don't think he's peaked yet, and so it'll be interesting to see how well he does. It looks like he's starting in orange in the bottom left-hand corner. In the upper right-hand corner, we have light, and I think that was teal. And this is on Andromeda, so it'll be interesting to see a big resource map. I'm excited to see this match, and uh, yeah, once again, we have Rain Man starting alongside, so, uh, and, uh, so good to have him along. Yeah, it's great to be here. Looks like ne both players just. I think that unless yeah, they're sending out. Uh, I thought Light was sending out early scout, but I, Lucifer's just been on a tear lately. He's beaten like some really good teammates. I think Zello, Swasson, Good Friend, Nada, Memory, and and I commented the game where he played against Led, and he just played fantastically. He 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 used carriers. It was just a great game to watch. Great game to commentate. Another note, I probably said this before, but Lucifer and Flash had the same name, and they've just been on a tear lately, and Lucifer's actually undefeated this year. But yeah, I'm really wow. excited for this game. Undefeated this entire year, thus far, and so holding a streak, I didn't even realize that. In the meantime, it looks like uh, on the upper right-hand corner we got Light. He's just going to do a standard Protoss build, sealing his front door in. Looks like, uh, wow, so quick 14 Nexus from Lucifer on the opposite side, which to the Mineral only as well, which really surprises me. Going for a 14 Nexus at the Mineral only, I guess that is somewhat necessarily simply because of the way the three bases are set up. Uh, usually you want to take a gas additionally though, because when you're talking about moving into the later game builds where it's really going to benefit you, unless you're going a crazy amount of Zealots, that is an weird picture and <laughs> you can <laughs> wow uh, you can see 910 looking embarrassed there so it looks like it was of uh, something of 910 uh, but it looks like light has uh, he's sending out a scout right now and so he's gonna see this uh, Honestly, I, I don't know how effective this is going to be. Uh, you might as well go for the uh, the outside base, unless you're really worried about tanks, unless you are really expecting quick... I, I just don't understand this play from Lucifer here. Going for the middle only instead of the gas, really, he's going to be vulnerable either way, and I don't think he's going to have the tech to, to, to really transition into carriers. In the meantime, Light getting his first factory down. Yeah, I now this map, I don't, it's not really that... I mean, it's alright for carriers. I don't think Lucifer doing that, and it looks like both of them are scouting in the completely wrong direction. Lucifer's finally, like he's got up to the sim layer, and there's a cybernetic score. Um, I, I, I don't really understand why he went for the mineral. We went for the mineral either, and there's another gateway. It looks like he's just going for like our standard two gate tech build and <laughs> KTF 3 hold. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> there's yellow. <laughs> I think he's actually playing next, and he's playing in the 2v2, which would be fun to watch with Reese, so yeah. Looks like Light's just going to get scout in. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what Lucifer's doing, but he's better than me, and he's been insane against Terran, so let's, let's just see what he does. So I know that this map's been particularly effective for a couple of Protoss players with the with the Arbiters. I do think that carriers could be effective, but it, I've just seen Arbiters be more favorable simply because you can get the three bases. You can get, it looks like there was a, some sort of marriage proposal to reach there. Uh, and so we'll see if he just decides to dedicate a lot of zealots. Now that Light has seen this and he's seen that mineral only, I'm kind of curious how he's going to, how he'll react if he decides to take his mineral only as well, or if he's just going to continue to push out. I really do think it's interesting though that the, uh, that, that it looks like he's got two factories down. It looks like he's going to go for a two factory push into light or I'm sorry into Lucifer and the question is is will Lucifer have anything to cope with it he does have looks like he's upgrading range but uh, honestly I think he needs to get he still hasn't scouted light up to this point as you can see he's still been blocked out so I think light is going to have the advantage here if he does push with those factories I don't know that Lucifer is really going to expect this keep in mind there's that additional base in here you could just be assuming at this point that light is in fact just taking that additional natural the one advantage he does have is there's a lot of distance and wow that probe killed additionally he needs to get an observer out there fairly quickly he needs to figure out what's going on in that base before those tanks, before those vultures start pushing down. Otherwise, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> if he gets observers, I mean, it's a smart right player to do, but he, even though he doesn't know it, he'd be better off if he had got, if he got, if he got Templar out, he'd be better off because it'd be a lot easier to deal with the tanks. But, yeah, I think Light's probably going to make a push here because he knows that Lucifer 
got he got the he got the mirror only. Yeah, yeah, he just floating that barracks away. But I'm thinking right now, I'm giving light. He wants yeah, he's <laughs> looks like he's dual upgrading there. Probably C check and get probably vulture speed, I guess. Right now, light looking in pretty decent shape over Lucifer. Whew. And I really worry for Lucifer. I don't know if he's going to be able to pull this off, honestly. Simply because, uh, honestly, there's nothing he can get in there to detect what Light's doing. And now he's coming out. Only two Dragoons stopping the way with the Zealot. Zealot already down. And now, yeah, the tanks are starting to push. I do think the Vulture Speed is is kind of the more important factor rather than Mines. And this is the other thing is, is I, I think Lucifer realized that he's got to under... Uh, he is a pro player. He has to understand the timing of this. Uh, and now the Vulture's uh, continuing as well. Let's see if he went for Mines. Uh, or, ooh, a couple, a little bit of an SCV blocks. The SCVs aren't going to be alongside. <laughs> That might be the cost for light, though, actually, because he, oh, not seeing it. Let's see how long it takes him, because that is a big cost. He needs those <laughs> SCVs alongside to help repair the tanks, and as well as to get uh, turrets down for the long-term seal, if he does go for long-term seal, if the initial siege doesn't work. But I think Folger Speed, oh, still there. I think Folger Speed will additionally be a key here uh, alongside mines, just to get the reinforcements down there as quickly as possible. They won't be too lagged. But this is the thing with this map. I really do feel like from a very, uh, kind of a hold position, right where those vultures are right now, they can do a lot of siege damage, and we'll see how if Lucifer can basically hold a Against this in the meantime, I'm not sure that he's going to be able to. All right, Lucifer's moving in with all the dragoons. He's he went right in the middle of the tanks. Great job by Lucifer. He's actually stopped this rush. That's this amazing play. He went right through the minefield. Went right through those tanks. His light had I think three tanks, three marines, and two vultures. And Lucifer basically went right through with without a that's all like a sports of like six or seven dragoons. Oh Ooh. my god. <laughs> And mine takes out five dragoons there. That bites for Lucifer. He looks, he just looks mad. Oh, and Vulture's coming in. This, if you get those Vultures in, this will be terrible for Lucifer. That was a nice little blockade. I like that maneuver by uh, Lucifer right at the last second, realizing he didn't lose his head too much there. That was a bad, that was a lucky break for Light and a bad break for Lucifer. It looked like Lucifer had basically taken this away from Light. It looked like he was going to, in fact, take the match uh, simply because of that just great break on that push. The mines weren't well laid by Light. Those tanks were vulnerable. There wasn't anything in the way, in the way and just all of a sudden it turns around five Dragoons with that single mine. Very unlucky. And now uh, Light on the full press not completely letting it get out of hand though cuz he did he did ma oh this is clever from light at the top side uh -oh. i didn't even realize that vultures reigned there on that corner and you can see the frustration on lucifer's face pulling the uh, pulling the probes off now and uh now the yeah, as you can see a full seal on his base he's got to be yeah he's got to be pretty worried here he's got to get a pretty strong push against oh mine managing to get in there as well he's got to get a pretty strong push against light if he's going to break this contain of uh, basically mines and make sure that light basically doesn't end up uh, kind of forcefully economically ahead cuz right now it looks like light Taking economically, it looks like some observers are out. I'm surprised that Light didn't bring uh, bring down additional tanks to actually cap that seal. Didn't look like he managed to do so. Uh, still a couple mines out in the field, but as you can see, they're not uh, fully spread. Now that there, there's that observer out there, this contain's not going to last that much longer. So I feel like Lucifer's right back in this game. Yeah, and I think he actually broke out. Yeah, he's taken his his natural expansion, so be able to get get that up faster. And Light just. I don't know. He just—he's just getting up his natural, which is kind of odd. And I'm not sure why he didn't really push in because he had pushed in with tanks. He would have been able to like just shell the heck out of Lucifer. He could have taken out that second nexus of Lucifer. Now, yeah, Lucifer's got a good place of He's taking out all those mines. I'm just wondering if if, if Lucifer's gonna push forward with this or just sit back, maybe tech up or something. I gotta expect after that two factory push that he's gonna press this advantage. I do like this kind of clever maneuver here. He's only bling, bringing three dragoons out in the field to kind of push. He's kind of giving Light uh, a false impression that he might be expanding uh, twice additionally with the amount of units that he's he's kind of pushing out. But in the meantime, he has a lot of dragoons uh, in the wayside, and I would expect to see a push very shortly here from him as soon as he gets about a uh, control group and a couple of yeah. There's the I was just about to say the dropship and a uh, full control group of dragoons, maybe a control group of Zelts alongside. But now I feel like Light is in a bit of trouble. You can see light do, uh, is basically sealed up, and uh, he does have wow turrets going up everywhere. As long as my, uh, as well as mines, he knows he's going to have to be in this for the long haul. He's going to have to hold up and uh, basically absorb L uh, Lucifer's attacks. If he does manage to do so, he'll end up coming out with this game. But in the meantime, he's economically behind, running into a lot of forces. Oh, yeah. Nice sell it drops. Beautiful zealot drops and some SEVs, as you can see, already off the line, realizing it's going to have to absorb this attack. And pull tanks down! That is probably going to be it for Light. Uh, Light does not have enough forces to really drive this off. He does not have enough mines on the ground. The observers, this, uh, I got to call GG uh, for Lucifer's favor. Lucifer doing an excellent job of holding on and doing an excellent job. And it looks like his, his win streak is going to be preserved. Excellent, excellent job on his part. Yeah, that was, this, that, was um, that was just amazing by Lucifer. 
He was able to move. He was able to catch light with his pants down with it, just dropping those four zealots. So he took all the tanks and basically what light had defending him. Now he's moving. Now he's just moving it with more dragoons, and I don't know what light can do here. This is just. And then if Lucifer wanted, he could get Templar. This is just looking so bad for light. Yeah, Lucifer just. He's just been amazing in PVT and. This his dragoon's use this game has been absolutely spectacular, and now lights to bring out his SCVs and they're just just gonna get destroyed. And yeah, he's losing the expansion. I don't know what light can do here. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, it looks like the light is essentially well. First of all, the, that's disrupting. The, first of all, it's disrupting that uh, that expansion. It looks like he did manage actually to continue mining the expansion. But th what this is gonna allow is another drop shuttle to come out. And so, it's, wow, uh, beat me to it again. Another drop shuttle to come out, and Lucifer is just gonna be able to press right in. As you can see, SCV is coming off the line, trying to stop it. Light is just too far economically behind, too far gone. He has four tanks, but it's just not going to be enough. And honestly, once that dropship comes in, I think we're going to see a GG from Light. Uh, and uh, honestly, I don't think Light can hold this at both, both directions. Again, you're right. Uh, Lucifer has too much of a tech advantage. He has too much of an economic advantage. And he just can, uh, as you can see, just continue to press this in. And now, as you can see, moving the Dragoons alongside. Looks actually he's going to hold them back. I expect him to press that attack in. And Light just not looking very sharp at all, as you can see. Not getting the SCV uh, up to that front tank and losing additional tanks. And Light is just uh, you saw with that initial push with the mines, just wasn't very, uh, wasn't his usual sharp self. And additionally, not continuing with that seal. Uh, additionally, not his. I think that was his one opportunity to take this game down. Was a continued pressed attack, and he didn't uh, continue with that pressed attack. Now he's going to lose a command center. Be just too far behind. I think you can tell the crowd knows it. Uh, everyone else knows it. Looks like Lucifer is going to pin one down again. Now SCV is coming off the line fighting. But honestly, I don't think Lucifer is too far concerned. He can just allow his reinforcements to come and do the talking for him at this point. Yeah, Lucifer just been great against Terran. Probably good. It has to do with the fact that he has flash to practice on, and oh, nice mind the light. But Lucifer, you say, has flash to practice on. He's the best player in the world right now, and he has Nalra in reach. So, Metro, yeah, GG right there. Great comeback by Lucifer. You can see he looks pretty excited right there, feeling like he. First of all, that's that's a big opponent to beat. Light, light is no no shabby player, especially in pro league, and very excited about that win. He's looking really good. I'm surprised he was able to come out of the deficit. Really, light did put down kind of sloppy mine placement, sloppy tank placement, but really Lucifer was the one who has exploited it and did an excellent job in doing so. Excellent comeback on his part. Uh, light. Wow, just not looking very, uh, not looking fantastic lately. And KTF in a very good position in game one, taking the first set. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, once again, have Rain Man alongside. Uh, any yeah. last thoughts there, Rain Man? I, I Lucifer is like my favorite player. I just can't, I, I just can't wait to see what he can do, do next. He's just been playing fantastic, and he's so young and he has so much going for him. And he's been tearing through Terran, and maybe, hopefully, and he, I think he's in the MSL round of 16, so. I'm just hoping we see more great things coming out of him. Yeah, we'll see him going through the uh, MSL round of 16, and hopefully that'll be some good matchup facing Jadong first. So a big test there. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Once again, thanks for listening.